Okay, I told you that I might put in some caterpillars and if I did, I would come back and show you. So I have decided to do that. So I have my piece of tracing paper here and you probably can't tell. So I'm going to lay a piece of paper towel behind it. Well, maybe just a, here. So here's one caterpillar. And here's another caterpillar, and he's kind of looking up at that bluebird with a little bit of uh, fear in his eyes. So what I did is I just laid this down. I don't know if you can tell. And I just looked at where, where I thought it would be to curl around, and then this one actually is right there. So that's the plan. So now what I will do is I will kind of pull this off to the side and just sketch in. Uh, my little caterpillars. I'm going to use these uh, Carbothello pastel pencils again. I have picked out these colors. I don't know if I'll need a light color, so I picked a pale yellowish color. I have black for their eyes. Um, I do have a micron pen, and I'm probably going to grab that. I might draw them in with that. I think I will. Let me grab my, I got my eraser. It's right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get started on these little guys. And if I don't know if you remember from doing the feet that I had to clean off the edge of my Micron pen. Uh, this is a 005 water resistant um, archival ink, but I had problems with the dust of the, of the pastels I'm coating the tip of the, the felt pen. So I have to be careful with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide this down. I am gonna put this underneath so I can see what I was thinking. And then I'm gonna work on it. So here we go, little guy. Um, laying on this branch right here where it's light is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, yeah, that's kind of giving me some trouble. There we go. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing up here on the um, on the video. I gotta get that dust off of there. And then he comes down the other side of this branch. There he is. Not very, very successful with this pen. I'm just gonna put that aside. Now I'm gonna come in with green because I know it will it will go on top there, and it'll just completely obliterate really the black line I put in. Don't really need that black. So this is a different shade of green. Now I'm not trying to make him like a specific like a swallowtail caterpillar or anything. I'm just getting him in there. I'm not too worried about. It what kind. There's so many different little caterpillars out there. So I need a little bit of a darker green just to give it some shading. Let me go ahead and pull this guy in. There. Yeah, definitely need it a little bit darker. Also hides out those black lines that are wanting to show. darken up that little branch a bit just to make sure it's clear that there's a branch he's hanging over. You know? There we go. Now let me darken up that branch. Now, let me get a little bit of this lime green. The light colors work well to blend the darkers. And you can easily add the light colors on top with this medium. too dark where his head is because I want his little eyes to show when I put his eyes in. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a 
a little bit more of this lighter color in. Here we go. Now. Now, a couple little eyes. mouth because caterpillars definitely have a mouth man they do some eating but there he is mr caterpillar number one he's legs there he goes so i really only need six legs and i think i gave him eight that's a problem he's not a spider we'll just see if anybody notices all right, the other one is this little guy, and I have him right here on this branch down here. So I'm not even gonna bother with that micron pen. Actually, though, it would probably work better because it's the background, but I'm just not gonna mess with it. It didn't work for the other one, and I want him to look similar. So he's gonna be right there. So we're gonna pull that over. Again, I wanna, what did I? I might sketch him in with a pencil just to, um, there he is. Here's the little squiggly back. And then his tail curling down the other side. Okay, now again, Going to start with this green. Maybe it's a little bigger than I drew. The pencil's just a suggestion. some shading. I want him to look fat. Plump. Nice plump little guy. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Do you need some legs? There. All right. There's my little caterpillars. Now the question is, oops, do I need a ladybug? Hmm. No, they're almost too bright. They should be more hidden. Hmm. I'll come in and give them a bit of this uh, sagey green that I put on the leaves. So they're hidden a little better. I don't think I want them quite as bright as I have them. They should be hiding a little more. Yeah, I think I like that better. Again, the reason this tracing paper is here is because I don't want my hands. I don't want the oils from my skin on this paper. Don't want to smear what I've already put down. I don't want oil and dirt on there. If 
before I've gotten it sealed. And even afterwards, it's not like I'm going to run my hands across it. So, um, there. Yeah, I like that better. I like him a, a little more subtle. Um, yeah, I thought about maybe a ladybug or two. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of happy with it the way it is. Not sure I need any more ladybugs or anything else. I'm actually quite quite happy with it. So I think what I will do is I'm gonna sharp, I'm gonna show you how I sharpen these. This is just a lid from a spray can. And um I have my sharpener. They're very dusty when you sharpen, so it's handy to have something. Sometimes I'll sharpen over a paper towel, but then you bump the paper towel and all of a sudden you've got, um, it's not as sharp as it could be. There we go. It all just kind of goes in this cup and it's easier to empty later. So, um, so yeah, I think we can Too bad. Seems like his feet need a little definition. There. Alrighty. Now I need to sign my name. So I usually like to sign them somewhere interesting. There's a little bit of yellow dust on here. Be careful because I can wipe off the color that I have on there, but I don't want all these little dust marks. So I think that's good. Alrighty, let's see here. This is a not so glamorous bit, a little bit of cleanup. Got some spots here where I've got some color in. There. Got to be careful though, because you're pulling up what you have. So I think I'm going to sign it right inside this branch here. Um, a lot of times I would sign further down, but like I said in my very first video, or I think it was even a separate video, this is destined to be on a pen that my husband and I make. So the pen, the live area for the pen is just the birds. So if I sign it down here, my signature won't be in the art that's on the pen. So when I know something is going to be used for a pen, I sign it higher up in the artwork that will be showing in the pen, but then it'll also be showing uh, for prints and obviously when this is framed and and hopefully sold as an original. So, I am going to go right in here. Actually, I'm just going to pull this bit. All of a sudden, decided it needs to be a little darker on the edge of that branch. You know, there's. it's funny. I, my friend and I always laugh that we think we're done. We sign the piece. And then inevitably, that means we'll do a few more things to it. So, <laughs> that might happen. I actually kind of like pulling this detail in a little. So let's pull a little of that over here. Get some kind of branch texture going. Like this, since I've got it kind of sharp edged. Could do that with some browns as well. Using that darker color on the bottom gives it more depth, more shape. Roundness. Don't want quite as much up in here because I want this to look like these branches are just um, covered with leaves and kind of hidden by the. Yeah, I do like that definition though. There's just that little punch of dark. 
is adding to how this looks. So I do like that. Remember I said go out, look at the trees, look at the, whatever your subjects are, you know, observe, 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 observe. You know, even photographers, I have some photographer friends and oh, they spend hours. I mean, you think, you know, okay, you go to buy one of their photos and you think, oh, it took them seconds to snap that photo. I shouldn't have to pay them very much. They have thousands of dollars in equipment and multiple hours in learning just how to photograph things with the light, using the light to their advantage. Do they want it in shadow? Do they want the light coming behind the subject? And then when you're doing nature photography, you've just got to put in the hours because you just don't know when a specific critter is going to come across your path. But you've got to put yourself in the position to to be able to capture it and be there. So photographers spend hours and hours and hours capturing that image that you want to buy. But so you can't just go, oh, well, it took them seconds to snap the picture. You've got to account for the hours and hours they've spent honing their, their skills um, and just uh, I have a photographer friend right now. He has been spending hours literally on his belly in his yard because that he has planted with beautiful flowers to attract insects and birds. And he has been, um, he's working with macro lenses and learning some new equipment that he has and getting some incredible photos of bees and dragonflies and hummingbird moths and these, these creatures. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. And he's, he's spent hours in the heat recently on his belly, in his yard, photographing critters. So, you know, the next time you see a photo of a bumblebee on a flower covered in pollen, think of what the photographer had to go through to be able to snap that photo. So, um, it's, and then just like what I do, there's a lot of hours in learning the medium, not just what you have done and it's also about your skill level so yeah it's there's a lot a lot in it so i mean i enjoy it but okay i think i'm finally ready to sign this thing <laughs> it's like i'm stalling right there we go i like to kind of hide it too so that's a little bit hidden. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series. It's called The Backyard Club. So I like the caterpillars in there, uh, especially on either side of the bluebird, because he's the one that would be interested in having them for lunch, and I'm not saying as a guest. Uh, the other two, they're seed eaters. They're not going to eat those caterpillars. So... Told you I'd find something. I always do. Trying to get a bright white area there. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to add a little more lavender on this um, blue jay. Because his lavender is just so pretty. So... They've got, I just decided he needed a little more the other day and I forgot to add it. Kind of just smoothing it out. I guess I could use this, one of these sponges. I'm talking about my, my oils of my skin. But yeah. You see, I said I was going to be done. And now I guess I am. <laughs> there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Alrighty. Well, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed it.